What's up and welcome to The Cap, the place we always keep you in the conversation. Today we've got the 40-40 Club, Washington goes to the max and the rarest bird in Oregon. All that and more, it's time to get capped. Let's go. Let's start off today in the Big Apple. Jay-Z is a true mogul, rapper, entrepreneur, and the same guy that loves Big Pimp and had 99 problems is also a major sports fan. So it should come as no surprise he seamlessly fit sports right into his lifestyle by opening up a sports agency for Rock Nation and a luxury sports bar in New York City called the 4040 Club. Two more guys joined the 4040 Club on the basketball court last night, and I'm sure Jay-Z would invite them right to his table, because LeBron James and Kyrie Irving both had 41 points as the Cavs beat the Warriors 112-97 at Oracle last night. Golden State had a strong game through three quarters, but they just lacked the versatility and defensive presence without the suspended Draymond Green. Still, all that being said, their coach, Steve Kerr, is still cool as a cucumber as they're up three games to two. And with the depth of his team as they head back to Cleveland for game six, I think he's got all the right to be. And over in baseball, the Cubs might have the best record in the major leagues, but they sure got taken to the max last night in D.C. because pitcher Max Scherzer was dominant on the mound and had control of his fastball as the Nationals beat the Cubs 4-1. to one. And over in Anaheim, the struggling Twins got help thanks to a set of triplets, home runs I mean, from Byron Buxton, Robbie Grossman, and Trevor Plouffe. Minnesota beat the Angels 9-4. In football, Pete Carroll might have an unexpected new bird next season in Seattle because 32-year-old former NBA player Nate Robinson might be trading in his basketball for a pigskin. He's said to have tried out for the Seahawks yesterday, and this former high school football star, if he does make the team, I see him lining up at wide receiver across from Tyler Lockett, giving Russell Wilson two pretty solid targets to shoot at this fall. Kicking it to soccer, Mexico won Group B of the Copa America yesterday after tying Venezuela thanks to a heroic goal from Jesus Corona. Now Venezuela moves on to play Argentina, while Mexico will play either Panama or Chile in the quarterfinals. And in today's You Had to See It to Believe It moment, let's talk a little disc golf. Philo Brothwaite made an albatross in the Beaver State Fling when he made a bending blind shot around trees from 850 feet. That's 283 yards. And to put this into perspective, when the guys play the golf course at the U.S. Open this week at Oakmont, the par 3 eighth hole is 288 yards. Some of the players will be hitting driver. Philo just did it with his arm. And in entertainment capital, the World Series of Poker Tournament naturally draws some of the best players in the world. It all culminates at the 10,000 No Limit Hold'em main event in Las Vegas. And now the best poker tournament in the world is going to host one of the best soccer players in the world. Because Neymar just qualified through a two-table satellite event at the Rio. We all know he loves to gamble on the pitch, but I guess now he's not afraid to gamble on the tables. That's it for us today. I'm Brooke Lanner and you've been captured.